Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the last video, we discussed the synthetic uses of sodium borohydride. In this lesson, we shall learn the synthetic applications of another metal hydride reducing agent that is lithium aluminium hydride. Lithium aluminium hydride is commonly abbreviated to LAH. It is an inorganic compound with the chemical formula LIALH4. The lithium ion centers are bonded to one hydrogen atom from each of the surrounding tetrahedra creating a bipyramid arrangement. It is a grey colored solid and is used as a reducing agent in organic synthesis. The solid is dangerously reactive toward water releasing gaseous hydrogen. The reaction provides a useful method to generate hydrogen in the laboratory. Lithium aluminium hydride was first prepared from the reaction between lithium hydride and aluminium chloride. Alternatively, the reagent is prepared by slowly adding a calculated amount of anhydrous aluminium chloride to a paste of lithium hydride in dry ether or tetrahydrofolate. Precipitated lithium chloride and the unreacted lithium hydride are removed by filtration. The filtrate is evaporated in the absence of air and carbon dioxide when lithium aluminium hydride is obtained as a grey solid. It is spontaneously inflammable and reacts violently with water and alcohol with the evolution of hydrogen. It is soluble in ether, tetrahydrofuron and dioxane. The reduction process is carried out by taking the powdered lithium aluminium hydride which is added to dry ether or tetrahydrofolate and kept agitated in a flask which is fitted with a condenser and a dropping funnel. Solution of the substance in ether is then gradually run into the flask so as to maintain a gentle boiling of the mixture. The reduction product is decomposed with water and acid. Excess of lithium aluminium hydride is also decomposed by water and acid. Lithium aluminium hydride is widely used in organic chemistry as a reducing agent. It is more powerful than the related reagent sodium borohydride owing to the weaker aluminium hydrogen bond compared to the boron hydrogen bond. Often lithium aluminium hydrogen in diethyl ether and followed by and acid treatment, it will convert esters, carboxylic acids, acid chlorides, aldehydes and ketones into the corresponding alcohols. Similarly, it converts amide, nitro, nitrile, imine, oxime and azide compounds into the amines. It also reduces quaternary ammonium cations into the corresponding tertiary amines. Reactivity can be turned by replacing hydride groups by alkoxy groups. Lithium aluminium hydride is most commonly used for the reduction of esters and carboxylic acids to primary alcohols. Prior to the advent of lithium aluminium hydride, this was a difficult conversion involving a sodium metal in boiling ethanol. Number 1. Reduction of carbonyl compounds. Addition of a hydride ion to an aldehyde or ketone gives an alkoxide anion which on protonation gives the corresponding alcohol. Aldehydes produce primary alcohols and ketones produce secondary alcohols. For example, hexanol and crotonaldehyde are converted to hexanol and crotyl alcohol respectively. In these two reactions, the aldehydic group is converted into the respective alcoholic groups. Note that the carbonyl compounds are reduced without affecting double or triple bonds. Sometimes, the double bond is also reduced when a phenyl group is attached to the beta carbon. For example, cinnamaldehyde produces 3-phenyl-1-propanol by the action of lithium aluminium hydride followed by protonation reaction. The ketonic group present in methyl ethyl ketone and ethyl acetoacetate is reduced to the corresponding alcohols butane 2-ol and butane 1,3-diol respectively which are secondary alcohols. The reagent lithium aluminium hydride is of considerable utility for the reduction of sensitive and expensive carbonyl compounds. For example, cyclobutanone which is converted to the cyclobutanol by the action of lithium aluminium hydride. Number 2. Reduction of acids and their derivatives. 
carboxylic acids can be converted to primary alcohols using lithium aluminium hydride. During this reaction, an aldehyde is produced as an intermediate, but it cannot be isolated because it is more reactive than the original carboxylic acid. For example, palmitic acid, crotonic acid and beta alanine are the carboxylic acids that are converted to the corresponding alcohols using lithium aluminium hydride. Partial reduction of acid chlorides and acid anhydrides gives the corresponding aldehyde intermediate products that cannot proceed via lithium aluminium hydride since aldehyde reduces all the way to the primary alcohol. For example, both acetyl chloride and acetic anhydride forms ethanol by lithium aluminium hydride. Esters also form primary alcohols using lithium aluminium hydride. For example, ethyl but 2 enoate an ester that can be converted to but 2 in 1 ol which is a primary alcohol by the action of lithium aluminium hydride. Unsubstituted amides gives primary amines while substituted amines gives secondary or tertiary amines. Number 3. Anilides are reduced to secondary or tertiary amines. Anilides such as acetanilide and N-methyl acetanilide are converted to the corresponding secondary and tertiary amine respectively. Number 4. Reduction of nitro compounds, azides, oxymes, nitriles, etc. to primary amines. Nitro compound for example 2-nitrobutane in the presence of lithium aluminium hydride in diethyl ether solution forms 2-aminobutane. However, nitrobenzene gives azobenzene via azoxybenzene. Azides for example allyl carbonyl azide produces allyl carbonyl amine which is a primary amine by the action of lithium aluminium hydride in ether solution. Oxymes such as benzophenone oxime produces diphenylmethylamine. Reduction of nitriles with lithium aluminium hydride may give amine or aldehyde depending on the conditions of the reaction. Aldehydes are given when a solution of lithium aluminium hydride is added to the solution of a nitrile in dry ether or tetrahydrofolate at low temperature. Amines that are obtained when a solution of nitrile is added to the solution of lithium aluminium hydride in ether or tetrahydrofolate. Number 5. Reduction of halides. Lithium aluminium hydride also reduces alkyl halides to alkanes. Alkyl iodides react the fastest followed by alkyl bromides and then alkyl chlorides. Primary halides are the most reactive followed by secondary halides. Tertiary halides react only in certain cases. For example, lithium aluminium hydride also reduces alkyl halides such as 1-bromo-2-methylpropane to isobutane which is an alkane. Number 6. Reduction of epoxides to alcohols. When epoxides are reduced using lithium aluminium hydride, the reagent attacks the less hindered end of the epoxide usually producing a secondary or tertiary alcohol. The reaction and regioselectivity of the product depend highly on the substitution of the epoxide ring carbons. Number 7. Reaction with compounds containing active hydrogens. The reagent lithium aluminium hydride reacts with alcohols and amines to evolve hydrogen. The method can be used to estimate active hydrogen. Number 8. Introduction of deuterium in organic molecules. Lithium aluminium deuteride has been used for introducing deuterium in organic compounds. For example, deuterium is introduced into 1-bromoethylbenzene and cyclohexanone by lithium aluminium deuteride. The table illustrates the substrates and their reduction products with lithium aluminium hydride. This is the list of references followed for the lecture. That's all in this video, the metal hydride reduction reagent lithium aluminium hydride. In the next lesson, we will discuss the Clemenson reduction. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.